there's a special boot mode on the LG G5 called download mode. Now this is usually used for manually repairing the software. This can happen after you root the device and maybe install something that shouldn't be installed causing the LG G5 to go into a boot loop or maybe you applied an over-the-air update and something messed up and again it went into a boot loop maybe you just want to return back to stock whatever the case is you're gonna need to download you're gonna need to boot into download mode before you can manually flash that firmware file to the LG G5 Well, to do that, we're going to need to power off the device. You're also going to need to connect a USB cable to your computer. Once the cable is connected and once the LG G5 is off, you're going to want to press and hold the volume up button. And see, I'm still holding the volume up button while that's being held. Then you plug in the USB cable. You're going to see a little download mode. Thing, and then you're going to be taken to a screen that says firmware update. For some reason this firmware update screen is very very low brightness. I don't know if there's a way to change this or not. Now once you are in download mode this is when you'll go to the computer to manually start flashing the firmware. Once that install is done, it should automatically reboot the LG G5. However, if you are just testing this out or maybe you mistakenly booted the LG G5 into download mode, you will need to pull the battery in order to reboot into regular Android. So you just pull the battery, push it back in, and then boot up like normal. Now you don't want to do that if you're in the middle of installing something. If you're using that PC software to manually install the firmware, don't do that in the middle of the install. You're going to see a, a warning at the bottom that says do not unplug the USB cable. And that's true. You don't want to unplug that if you're in the middle of manually installing something. If you haven't initiated anything on your computer though, then you don't need to worry. You can unplug it, pull the battery, and then boot back up in Android. And see, so I'm going to show you. It's going to take me right back to Android where everything's working, even though I manually rebooted while in download mode.